assalamu alaikum okay friends so today we are starting one of the main topics in financial accounting in sap which is chart of accounts since we all know we are accounting students we all know that uh, accounting starts from chart of accounts uh, i do not feel the need to to explain what the chart of account is because i understand that all you people are accounting students so you know what a chart of account is so we will start with some of the basic concepts which we need to know before we discuss chart of account in sap context the first thing is that there is a term company code we have come across company code in the last video as well when we were navigating in sap system we were using a t code fv03 and there was a field company code to which we used f1 and f4 company code is the is the sap specific term and it means an accounting entity any accounting entity whether it is incorporated or not whether it is legally a company or not whether it is a partnership firm or or it is a sole proprietorship firm or it is an ngo every accounting entity for which a separate set of financial statements is prepared is actually company code in sap terms so say uh, for example uh, uh, tabba group is implementing uh, sap to its entire group for its entire group then uh, Uh, they were they will have a company code for gadoon textile they will have a company code for yunus textile they will have a company code for lucky textiles they will have a company code for lucky cement for all the companies whether they are listed or not whether they are public or not whether they are private or not they will have a company code similarly they will have a company code for yunus brothers uh, which might be a partnership firm although it is a private limited company but assuming it's a partnership firm since that's a separate accounting entity it it is configured as a company code similarly tabba foundation tabba heart foundation is a, is an ngo is a, a non profit organization not ngo but a non profit organization uh, but since its separate financial statements are prepared it's a separate entity so it's a company code from a sap perspective so we need to open the company codes for every accounting entity so first of all we need to know this concept company code second come to company the word company in sap has a different connotation and different meaning than the word company in the general sense in the general commercial world as i have mentioned earlier there there are some terminology issues in sap they have their own proprietary terminology for some reason or another right and that's why i used to say them and because of some other reasons chanu german uh, application so a company in sap terms is actually an abstract entity which represents a group of companies Uh, a group of companies for consolidation purposes it means a parent and subsidiary is taken together so be careful uh, in sap context company is not company code a company in commercial world is actually a company code in sap context so when we use the word company in our daily daily language it is in sap context it is not company it is a company code in sap context if somebody says we are working on some company it means actually they are working on the abstract entity which represents the group of companies parents and subsidiary parent and subsidiaries taken together but remember this group is only parent and subsidiary it doesn't include associates so it's only for the consolidation purpose right i i assume since all of your accounting students you know the concept of consolidation consolidation means that uh, legally uh, financial reporting uh, actually requires that uh, Uh, a company which is a parent company which has more than 50% holdings in its subsidiaries in its child companies they come up with a group financial statements group income statement group balance sheet so that the entire family's assets liabilities income expenses can be uh, assessed and evaluated by the stakeholders the third important term is client so this is the reverse hierarchy we are working on a company code uh, is smaller than a company and a company is smaller than a client so what is a client client is a working environment we have already actually discussed client it is the working environment for the whole client of sap when some sap client for example gulam farooq group purchases sap then gulam farooq farooq group for example will configure a client which is the logical area within the physical server in which they will have the data of all of their company codes all of their companies right maybe gulam farooq group have uh, a couple of parent companies two parent companies three subsidiary companies two non profit organizations three associated companies so taken together they have 11 company codes they have two separate uh, legally identifiable groups which has parent subsidiary relationship for example right it's not the actual data i'm just sharing the example so they may have two companies because they are two parent subsidiary groups 
they have 11 company codes because all the entities taken together are 11 in numbers and they will have one client right so client is the actually logical area where all the data about companies company codes and everything resides and user ids and passwords are actually specific to clients so when all the data resides in clients the benefit is that uh, we can merge the data of different company codes we can aggregate the data of different companies and company codes to come up with the overall group wise numbers if we are interested right some companies do implement all the company codes on the same client but some companies do have different clients so it's it's a choice for example i i, I remember tabba group uh, has for example a different client for lucky cement limited it is a different client for gadoon textile limited for example why uh, this is so because uh, they want to keep their textile uh, entirely separate from uh, uh, the cement uh, or the construction industry so it's a choice but what can ideally happen is that one a client can have data of all the company codes so that uh, whenever there is an aggregation or some sort of combined analysis is, uh, is needed it can be done so we have always have one client usually right uh, when we are logging into system we are logging into a client a client can have many companies because companies are not real entities they are abstract entities and uh, a company is composed of many company codes so company is optional it's not mandatory there might be some some group where there is no parent subsidiary relationship so this is only required for consolidation purpose if we if we see the hierarchy we we just discuss these two elements we have clients and within the client we have the many company codes and some of these company codes taken together makes up a company example assume we have one parent three subsidiaries two associates one mpo and one partnership firm how many company codes are there so one parent three subsidiaries so they are four plus two associates so they are six plus one npo so they are seven plus one partnership firm so they are eight there are in total we need to create eight company codes in the system how many companies are there since parent subsidiary relationship there is only one parent and three subsidiaries so they makes up one company together taken together remember company doesn't mean parent parent only it means these four companies taken together so this is not a real entity this is an abstract entity moving forward to the main concept of chart of accounts chart of account is a client level organization data it's not the company code level organization data try to make sense of it usually in accounting we understand chart of accounts something under the company code by company code i mean sap context in the company code means the entity so usually we say that every entity has its chart of accounts sap has delivered the concept of chart of account a bit differently and this has given us more flexibility it says that chart of accounts are under the client they are not under the company codes they are independent of the company codes they are created independently of the company codes they are configured independently of the company codes and then they are assigned to company codes right so we have say uh, for example uh, one client let me try to draw a picture for you uh, while if it works if it makes some sense so let's say this is my client and in client i have these three company codes right so this is cc1 i don't have pen so i cannot write this is company code 2 this is company code 3 so the company codes i have mentioned in red let me change the color now i take blue for the chart of account so in client i can create maybe two chart of accounts chart of account 1 and chart of account 2 because chart of account are not company code specific they are independent of the company codes so they are created independently of the company codes under the client and then they are assigned to company codes let's say this is the chart of account which i have created for textile companies because i know all the textile companies will have almost similar chart of account all the construction companies will have almost similar chart of account so i have three companies in my group i have two of them are textile one of them is construction so i created two chart of account not three because the textile one will suffice for both the textile companies then what i did i need to assign the chart of account to the company code so this assignment is done by connecting let me change the color again so connecting these chart of accounts just for the figurative purposes so this is the construction chart of account so i connected it with the construction company so this is now the chart of account of this company and when i connect it what happens actually that there is a, a copy of this chart of account is actually created here and the system starts posting in this uh, chart of accounts so it becomes the gl this is a chart of account the difference between the chart of account and general ledger is that the chart of account has no numbers has no data other than the uh, account numbers and account names whereas the 
uh, general ledger has the numbers so as soon as i assign this chart of account to this company code system creates a copy of this chart of account here and start posting here right uh, then for the textile chart of account i assign it to this company code and i assign it to this company code what happens when i assign the chart of account to the company code that a copy is created here and another of copy of this chart of account is created here and both of them start posting to their respective copies this means that the chart of account is same but the general ledger of course are not same because the general ledger need to be separate the general ledger contains the numbers so every company has their own profits their own losses their own expenses own assets on liabilities but the structure of their chart of accounts is actually same right so this is the benefit of a centralized chart of account that we do not need to copy the chart of account every time a new company is created we do not need to create a new chart of account for a new company created if we have similar companies we can assign the same chart of account to those companies now gl accounts and chart of account can then be further created either at client level or a company code level now this is very important again that assume that in this particular uh, this chart of account right so let's mark it as 50 this is the textile chart of account so i have i am using this chart of account in this company this is company a and i am using this chart of account in this company as well this is company b right and when i say i am using this chart of account here it means its copy is created here right and the system starts posting uh, as soon as we uh, as as we progress uh, into the financials now assume that uh, uh, the government imposes a new tax and if the government imposes a new tax and this tax is applicable to both these textile companies then what should i do now i should create the new gl account within over here right so that it is automatically available for company a and company b with one click whereas if a new government imposes a new tax which is only specific to company a not a company b then i should create this new tax account within this chart of account so that it is available only to a it is not available in the global copy of chart of account and it is also not available to company b's copy of chart of account so this is the flexibility which sap gives us by actually defining the chart of account at a centralized level that we can actually create new accounts into the chart of account so that all the company codes which are using this chart of account are actually automatically uh, available with this account new account and uh, with just one click so they just need to adopt this new account which is created here by just one click uh, in a t code so this is uh, 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 excuse me okay friends so coming back so what i was saying that uh, if a specific tax is imposed then we create the chart of a, a gl account here uh, if a account needs to be created centrally then we can create the account centrally so this is the benefit of a centralized chart of account that we can actually create the a new gl accounts either centrally or within a company codes so we will see we will see how to create these gl accounts uh, over the uh, part of the course so it avoids redundancy we do not need to create uh, so many accounts assume that there is one chart of account assigned to 13 different textile companies in my group and the government imposes new taxes had there been no centralized chart of account then what i need to do i need to create the new account 13 times but if there is a centralized chart of account that like what sap delivers we need to create the new account just once and then need to adopt the new account in each of the 13 company codes by just one click now every chart of account in sap has a four digit id a maximum of four digit id sometimes it is a three digit id so there is a four digit maximum id because every master data or organization data is actually identified by their ids and sap delivers some pre configured chart of account for use by the clients so not only that the, these are the centralized chart of accounts but also that these are pre there are some pre configured chart of accounts which sap delivers by default when you purchase sap system by default you get some of the pre configured chart of accounts which may, we can you can make use of or if you want you can create your new chart of account right so we have already discussed this example in what that what happens if the government imposes a new tax so some more concepts uh, in chart of account but uh, uh, before moving on to these concepts uh, i want that we see some of the hands on in chart of accounts so let's move on to sap screen so this is my sap screen and you see i am where i am i am in accounting financial accounting general ledger within the general ledger there is a folder information systems so i am in information systems within the information systems there is a folder general ledger reports within the general ledger reports there is another folder master data and within the master data there is a report 
which is GL account list. The T code of the report is mentioned here as underscore ALR underscore 8701233. So if you want to directly access this report, you can type the T code here or you can double click here. Remember, if you don't see your box here, then you need to watch the last video. Similarly, if you don't see your T code here, you need to watch the previous videos. So I go there. And over here, the system is asking me which chart of account I want to look because there are many chart of accounts in the system. So let's, uh, I don't know the code, so let's make use of F4 or this button. And you see these are the codes of chart of accounts and these are the description of chart of accounts. Ideally, sometimes there, there is a number displayed here which, sh which shows that how many items exist, but this number is not shown here. Again, a Janu German thing. So as soon as we move down through the scroll bar, you can see these numbers on the scroll bar top 15 of 15 to 34 of 50. So there are a total of 50 chart of accounts. You can see these numbers as I am scrolling up and down towards the top of the scroll bar. The numbers is appearing that there is a total of 50 chart of accounts uh, configured within our system. Right. So let me take you to some of them. Uh, the one we are using, the one we are doing accounting in is this one. GBI global because our company is GBI. So this is a chart of account our company code is using. Let's see this. So I double click it. Had I no GL00 chart of account ID uh, right from the start, I didn't want, uh, I might not want to actually use F4. Uh, 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 now, chart of account can be big. If I want to see only a part of chart of account, then I can actually mention the range of the GL accounts here. Uh, that I need account number 1 to 100, for example. For which company code I want to see the chart of account? Again, I can see chart of account independent of the company codes. This is the client level chart of account. I can see chart of account specific to a company code, which is a company code using. And both may be same, both may be different. Not absolutely different, but there may be some differences. As we have discussed that there may be some accounts which are company code specific, created as a company code chart of account, but not created in the centralized chart of account. So oh, I don't uh, want to give any company code. Let's try to execute it. This is the execute button. Let's see what happens. And here is a chart of account. So this is the jail account. This is the chart of account number. It, the system is repeating it, although there is no need to repeat the chart of account number. This is the jail account number. So there is a six digit number, apparently. And these are the account titles. And also we see the company codes, right? So you see this account uh, is also in company code D00. This account number is also in company code US00. This account number is also in company code BS00. So uh, the system is showing all of them, right? If you want to, so th this will this will not, will not be as sensible because every account number system will be showing 13 times, three times uh, to how many accounts number they are assigned, all are shown. So if I want to show just one of them, uh, so better uh, take the company code as well. So I keep company code US00. Again, I can make use of F4, but I know my company code is US00. Execute. Now I only have the company code US00 accounts, right? So these are the account numbers and there are certain functions here. So uh, this is the T code. We have set the display to the T code. So uh, you see this chart of account, there are many functionalities as I have uh, discussed earlier, mentioned earlier, this SAP has very rich features in terms of uh, analysis and evaluation of different reports and even customizing of different reports. So I will show you some of them here uh, at this point of time. For example, you can export this to word processing right from here. So let's try it. So create a document, respect colors, start MS Word, continue. Let's see what happens. So system is asking where I want to save so I can actually change the folders and then I can simply write whether I want to save an RTF or document or whatever it is. Uh, so this is something we can do. Just try it yourself. Uh, and, and another important thing is that we can switch the display to display stable. So let's go there, display stable because there are some more functionalities here. Now see it's more of a table like structure. And there are some more functionalities there. For example, uh, these are the sort buttons. So if you just click the header over here, the column heads, uh, for example, I want to sort it. It is by default, it is sorted in the account number sequence. So I want to sort it in the long text sequence. So sort in ascending order. So A to Z. You see the com accounts starting with uh, uh, 
okay so so uh, i sorted this uh, list on the long text so you can see that this is a red pointer here uh, pointing upward red arrow here pointing upward means that this report is now actually sorted on this column and it is sorting on the ascending order uh, arrow pointing upward while it should start with a but they are starting with e because uh, if you see the alignment you see the first field the first alphabet place of these accounts is actually empty it's space bar so that's why system is actually uh, taking these earlier and then numbers and after numbers it is starting from a and if you go page down you see there are many accounts starting with a then b then c then d right so i uh, it you should not confuse why why uh, why e accounts entertainment expenses appearing before a because it's not starting with e actually technically it's starting with space e that's why system is taking these accounts earlier so there was these accounts were created by some of the students so they didn't created it rightly they should start with the kaful t they should start with e but they didn't start with they they accidentally or mistakenly or intentionally pressed space bar first and then write the account num name that's why the system is sorting uh, not in the right order so i want to sort again on the same column but in the descending order i just click this button i want to sort it in gl account uh, ascending order i click this button so this is the use of these two buttons we can make use of filter i don't want to discuss it now at this point of time we don't uh, we actually will progress uh, gradually uh, there's a print preview if you want to save this report as a local file we can actually directly save this report as a local file here so it's asking whether you want to save it the text with tabs which is csv sort of thing or rich text format or html format and then the system will ask you uh, to which location you want to save so you can save it locally as well so you can analyze it you can mail it through the sap mail interface not available for us and uh, uh, something very important this one change layout right let's try this what happens so it says that uh, there are some columns which are displayed columns and there are some columns which are hidden columns so right now there are no hidden columns all the columns are displayed so if there is any column which you want to hide from the report or sometimes there are some columns here which, which you want to display in the report then actually you can move the items from left side or to right side or vice versa so let's say company code i don't want it because it's repeating so i put it on the hidden columns similarly indicator uh, i don't want it i just even chart of account i don't want it because it's also repeating i know this is a gl00 chart of account so i just want these three pieces of information so i put them there then i transfer and again my report is actually customized so this report customize customizing option is one of the great options that sap delivers in almost many of the reports which don't do other erps don't normally in the other erps if you want any uh, customizing in the report or if you want to change the layout of the report or something like this you need to actually make a new report and to make a new report is actually you need a more programming you need to pay more amount to the consultants you need to have more request for the system changes but sap actually have given this liberty to the end users that they can customize their reports this is one of the main feature this which uh, it managers uh, usually uh, uh, enjoy because their workload is uh, highly reduced there are no reporting customization requests from the end users once we have changed the layout we can actually select uh, stored layout or we can actually save this layout for a future use so i am not using it for the timing but we can okay friends so i took a break in between and uh, now we will see how to export this to an excel or a spreadsheet uh, file system so we go here and uh, list and we go to okay we first need to go display as table so when it's displayed as table then we go to list and then we say export and then we say spreadsheet so excel file system yes excel format now note that this will not save the file directly onto your uh, local drive rather it will save the file uh, into the browser file system right so it is a temporary place where this uh, sap will save this file so you cannot change this directly to c or d 
or something like this it's the browser's own file system so you just name the file whatever you want for example i want it to be coa and then i press choose it says that data was saved over here and if you wanted to download it to the local drive what you can do is you have to go to more gui actions and settings and then web gui file browser so it has been saved into the file browser let's now try to locate it we go to more gui actions and settings web gui file browser so whatever files you save actually are temporarily saved here so here there are two files this is the one we are looking for so i click it and then i say it export to native file system so it is automatically exported to my local drive and i can see it now on my local drive i can double click it and i can easily uh, evaluate it in any form uh, in excel as i want so this is uh, these are some of the features in this report in this chart of account report what we saw we saw this, how we can change the sorting order how we can uh, actually change the different columns uh, we can add some columns or we can remove some columns by this column configuration column and uh, i run it again that's why all the columns are visible uh, okay so we can even use the filter button which i didn't discuss we can download the file to the local file but over here it will not be saved as an excel file rather a csv file or something like this so and over here we can actually export it to either a spreadsheet or any other local file uh, so this is a duplicate function it can be done local file from here or it can be done directly from here as well so we go back exit this was one of the chart of account we go exit again and we go to this report again and now my question is that uh, uh, when I, I will refer to the presentation we will see that uh, we can press f4 as we already seen uh, to answer some of the uh, queries or questions so let's see some of the questions for example these are some of the exercises display chart of account in gl00 so this is something we did now you should display chart of account int so now go to the same t code uh, and try chart of account int then display it using f4 see how many chart of account exist in our client so we did it in the initial part of the video it there were 50 what is bank account number in chart of account gl00 so in gl00 what is the bank account number so we can we have downloaded this uh, uh, in the excel so we can see in excel or we can run the report again so you see there are many 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 bank accounts and uh, so why this is so because uh, many students have created their own accounts so we will create our own account as well in, in the general ledger not in the bank but in the general ledger so the bank account which was default by default uh, delivered by the chart of account is this one because this ends with double zero all the other accounts have been created by students right so uh, although this, there is no one answer for this question but we can locate uh, many bank accounts the next question for you was what is rent expense account number in chart of account int so run the chart of account int and uh, uh, then control F and try to locate rent expense or just rent try to locate just rent and you will be able to answer sometimes there are more than one accounts with the same title because the students are working in their chart of account sometimes some of them are accrued expenses and some are uh, simple expenses what is the code of chart of account for Belgium in the system so this is the question uh, so we are uh, asking not the code of the account but the code of the chart of account so there is there are many chart of accounts some of them are with the word belgium let's search with the word belgium so this is the belgium chart of accounts belgium and the code is cabe so this is how we can use f4 functionality this is how we can uh, uh, see chart of account and in next video Inshallah, we will see discuss some more features of uh, chart of accounts in SAP uh, system. Thank you.